So one way you can survive your trial in this world is to follow the prescription of the manual. And I give you some examples. Look, Allah tells us in Quran, chapter 57, verse 20. Five, chapter 57, verse 20. Ailamun. No. That the life of this world. Nam. Allah says, let me tell you, this world, don't rely on it. This world, there's nothing here. This world, there's nothing here. It is, it's, it's, it's full of play, amusement, fashion. It's full of boasting. It's full of mutual rivalry. I have more children than you. I have more wealth than you. That's, you know, it's full of all this rivalry. It is like the rain when it falls. And the farmer looks at the crops and the leaves, the green leaves. And the farmer is, is happy about the color of the, of the leaves. This look fresh. It says before you know, it turns red, it turns orange, and it dries up. The same leaf dries up and is blown away by the wind. That is how the life of this world is full of deception. You point to a house, this is my house, this is my house. Is it really your house? Many people are coming to point to the same house who did not build the house. Today you see houses without their owners because their owners have been buried. What it means is that they are coming to see your house without you one day. Today you see children without their parents. What does that tell you? It means they are coming to see my children without me. So life is like that. Understand that Allah says, no, don't get yourself disturbed. In fact, it says, that is verse 20. It says that it's a life of deception. Allah himself tells you. So when you have something, do not think you are better than anybody. Be grateful to Allah and be very humble about it because you came with nothing and you will go with nothing. So you are not really better than anybody. It is your trial that is higher than the trial of those who do not have. So lower your wings and understand that I have a task not to lose my senses because of the possession of this world. So if you understand the meaning of that, you will, you will be able to overcome trials about this world. You will not be materialistic about anything. You talk about what you need and not what you want. You look for ways of making others happy. You look for ways of ensuring that you are not mischievous to anyone. There will be no man in humanity to man coming from your side. All because you understand that my Lord is watchful. My Lord is looking at me. And I'm going to account for all this on the day of judgment. Verse 21 now says, Sabiku. Sabiku. Race. 57 verse 21 now says, Race with one each other with istighfar do competition about istighfar astaghfirullah astaghfirullah seek forgiveness of your lord and, and try your best to strive for al jannah the size of which is the heavens and the earth because that paradise is prepared for those who believe in Allah and his messengers then if you go to verse 22 Look, beautiful. Everybody should note Quran 57, 22 and 23. Wonderful solution. 22 and 23. Quran 57. Allah says, More asoba. Allah says, If you are afflicted by any trial, I am aware it has been written. Nothing is hidden from Allah. But the real message is in 23. Allah says, it is because I do not want you to grieve. 
I do not want you to grieve. I do not want you to be sad. I do not want you to be sorrowful. I do not want you to be disheartened. I do not want you to be disenchanted. Do not be disgruntled. Do not be sad. I don't want you to be sad. Over what? Over what you have lost. I do not want you to be unhappy over what you seek and you are not able to get. I do not want you. In fact, you have lost nothing. 